Evans here and uh, welcome to this last part in the IGCC ICT October November 2018 paper 2 uh, we've been looking at um, the first four sections and now we're doing the presentation which is task 5 so you're going to create a short presentation and all slides must have a consistent layout and formatting unless otherwise instructed slides must display a title and bulleted list okay so title and bulleted list okay so um uh, step 36 says create a presentation of five slides using the file n218 worldmines.rtf so we will open our powerpoint presentation mm -hmm. and we'll open the file that we're looking for so browse and get to the file so let's see it's supposed to be in here i think uh, change here to uh, all files and then the file in question is supposed to be world mines the last one all right good so it has five slides so that is basically what we want next step display the following features on all slides which means we'll put these features on the master slide the company logo uh, position in the top right corner appropriately resized and with us ratio maintained let's just do that so we'll go to slide um, uh, to view slide master and then on the first slide um, then we're going to insert um, some picture so insert um, in this folder some logo um, we'll put it on the top in the top right corner uh, maybe somewhere around there and we'll resize it since this is square so We'll perhaps resize it to um let's see maybe two inches okay that's let's say 1.5 yeah 1.5 is better so i'll put it just around there top right corner that's fine um so the next thing that you want to do is to um go to the question paper um insert your name center number and a number in the bottom left corner so in the bottom left corner so if i want i can delete this the date and insert my own uh, field um, or um, i can switch around some of these uh, fields here but i like to delete and insert my own um, so just right here um chikasa evans ZM five five six zero zero one. Okay, bottom left corner slide number in the top left corner. So for the slide number, I can simply just get this one that is there, uh, get it, resize it like that, and drag it in the top left corner somewhere there maybe. Yeah, around there maybe that's fine. I'll just change the color to be black. Okay um next uh using the data in the in this file create a pie chart to compare the 2016 production values for only top five mining countries so we're, we're going to open the um t open the csv so to open the csv this one we'll open it with spreadsheet and we'll need to create now um a pie chart to show only um um the 2016 uh, which is the year and the countries which are in the top five so top five this is one two three four five up to brazil that's the top five so i'm going to get um insert and then pie chart just pick up a 2d chart don't don't be fancy here just pick up a 2d chart that's fine um so next thing we need to do is format the chart to display the title top five mining uh, let me just copy this um okay i can go ahead and go ahead top five um uh, tin mining countries okay so we in excel 
So this is supposed to be title is supposed to be top five tin mining countries. Let's verify the the case. That's fine. Um, next, for each sector, um, display only the country name and production value only. Okay, so the country name and production value only. So in this case, um, we'll click here, go to format, um, add data labels. Let's see. Um, okay, so let's see. Mm -hmm. No, I don't want this. I want the data labels to be um, okay. Come here. Go to data labels and uh, more options. Um, for some reason, yeah, there you go. So I want to show the name, okay? Um, and then I don't want the leader lines. Um, so I want just the name and the name of the country plus the value, okay? That's what I want. So I come back here, it's the country name plus the production value. Do not display allegiant, so come here and remove allegiant. Okay, so the next thing that we want is um, extract the sector with the largest production country by pulling it away from the other countries. Okay, so to do that, simply just double click there and select it when it is selected alone, because if you try to, um, to get it when it's all selected, then it pulls together with the other values. Uh, in this case, it didn't anyway. So um, get it like this. Uh, oh yeah, so now it pulls together with the other values um, as you can see. So undo it and you just want to extract only this sector alone like that. Okay, so that's fine. Um, so the next thing that you're supposed to do is place the chart to the left of the bullet points on the slide with the title tin mining. Make sure that all the data is displayed in full and no items overlap. So we're just going to get this, copy it. And then we'll go to our PowerPoint and we'll look for, we'll go to um, normal view. So before we go to normal view, we need to go to um, um, on the head and footer, we need the slide number to be visible because this is what we've, we've added there. So apply to all. And um, so now we can go to normal view. We have the candidate number, uh, rather the slide number, uh, candidate details at the bottom and the logo top right corner. So that is perfectly fine. Um, the next thing that we need to do is to look for tin mining, which is here. And we're going to insert this to the left of the bullets. So place it to the left of the bullets. So that's, uh, that's that. Um, left of the bullets, that means we take this, this side. Um, no object should overlap and paste it. Um, okay, so we'll paste it like this, like a picture, and um, try to resize it nicely. Um, yeah, you can crop it a little bit just to make it um, look, um, since it's the, the background is the same, so we can remove this, sorry. Uh, we can remove this a bit, and we can remove this. We just want to make the thing a bit large. Okay, so that is visible. That should be fine. If you want, you can crop this as well so that the background doesn't get to, to seem as though. Yeah, so this is fine. Um, the next thing that you're supposed to do is make sure that all the data is displayed in full and no items overlap. Save the presentation, print the presentation as a handout with six slides to the page. So um, print it as a handout, go to file, print, and then uh, where it says four page slides, select that and select six slides horizontal. And this is six slides to the page. Okay, go ahead and print this one. Next, um, we want um, print only the slides with the title tin mining, make sure that this slide it fills the, uh, the page. Okay, so you come here, and this is the slide in question, go to print, and then you want to print the current slide, which is this one, to change the orientation to landscape, and you don't want to print to six to the slide, 
just print one slide and it will be printed this way okay that's fine um the next thing that you want to do um not one slide full slide like this okay um that's fine the next thing that you want to do is um let's see uh okay so this is done and this is done basically this is done for the presentation so the next the last bit here is basically the theory part um, um you are basically evaluating um the use of cloud um, um storage of data content purchase your tracks today and then you recommend um a backup storage for data heritage mining to use based on your evaluation okay so um, i may not dive into this unless you guys just have an issue um no we're not knowing what is supposed to do um on this one but basically just a hint um when you store data on the cloud um you access it from anywhere. You don't have to be moving around with your storage device. Um, you can access it from any computer um, that you want um, to use. Okay. Um, but again, you're looking at both advantages and disadvantages. Um, with your with your cloud, um, if the servers are down there, which means you don't have access, you don't have internet, you don't have access to the clouds. So if you used um, uh, a temp drive, you're guaranteed that um, the file is just within your reach. Um, if that is you are in the area where your file is actually. Um, um, so a better recommendation uh, for you, you decide whether this company, do they do, um, do they have main multiple um, places like, um, are they located in different places or is it just in one place and um, are they having multiple computers to use to access the files and so on if that be the case then you are better off using um, uh, cloud storage than um, tap that okay um, but you can you can surely do this um, and research and 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 um, come up with something that is meaningful okay so thank you so much um, and um, don't forget to subscribe, to like, to share, to comment, and I'll see you in the next video when we do a paper three of um, October, November. Um, uh, it's done. All right. So. Why didn't you pay for this beat?